Hi, Westerville North Track. Today I'm going to be talking to you about nutrition, and I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes that I use after my workouts to make sure that I stay hydrated and get good nutrition in my body. Now, when you go through a workout or a track meet, your body uses up glycogen stores that are in your muscles, and it breaks down your muscle cells and bone cells. But if you eat a meal after your workout or track meet, then your body begins to repair itself and it builds those muscle cells and bone cells back up so that they will repair stronger than they were before the workout. So it's very important that you eat 30 minutes after your workout or meet um, and that your meal contains a lot of carbohydrates and protein. Now you want to look for something that has a 4 to 1 ratio of carbohydrates to protein. The carbohydrates are going to help restore your um, glycogen cells and then the protein will help your body get enough amino acids to repair the muscle cells that were just broken down. There's a lot of different ways that you can get that 4 to 1 carbohydrate to protein meal in after your workout, but some ideas that you can use are a fruit smoothie, um, a banana with peanut butter on it. Um, you can do like a bagel with peanut butter. There are different bars that are good to eat and two of my favorite um, snack bars are made with whole foods so they don't have very many artificial ingredients or artificial sweeteners. And that's always something you want to look for. You want to consume a diet that's full of whole foods and try to minimize like artificial ingredients. Um, but my favorite brands of bars are Lara bars and you can find these at just about any grocery store. And I also really like Picky Bars. Um, you can buy these online or at REI. Um, and these are actually made by um, an athlete. And they specifically have the 4 to 1 carb to protein ratio that you're looking for. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to make the Coconut Kale Smoothie from the Run Fast Eat Slow cookbook. It's pretty easy to make and it has... Um, protein, carbs, and fats. Um, so it's a pretty balanced snack. And this can also be used um, not just after your workouts, but you could even make this for breakfast to make sure that you get a quick meal in first thing in the morning. Um, and also, you could even drink this right before practice. Now, I know a lot of you have lunch early in the day, and you may go a really long time um, from lunch until track practice and be really hungry right before practice, but you might be worried about um, eating a heavy meal before practice and not feeling well during your workout. This is something that should kind of settle pretty well with your stomach um, so that you feel good during the workout and it'll also help you stay hydrated um, so that you don't get dehydrated, dehydrated during your workout. Um, so what you'll need with this is ice, coconut water, um, plain whole milk yogurt, um, four kale leaves, almond butter, and honey. And what we'll do is um, combine all those ingredients in a blender. So we've got one cup of ice, and then we'll add two cups of coconut water. And then one half cup of plain whole milk yogurt. And then we'll take four kale leaves and remove the stem from them and just put the leaves in the blender.
And this recipe will make two servings. So you can either like make the whole thing and then share it with a family member or just make half of the recipe if you just want one smoothie at a time. Or what I tend to do is I will make the whole thing and then save um, the other smoothie for the next day so that it's already done and I don't have to do it like two days in a row. Okay, and then after that we'll do two tablespoons of almond butter. And then two tablespoons of honey. Okay. And then you'll just put the lid on the blender, secure it in its place, and then mix that up. And then, once you've got that all mixed up, just divide it into two cups. And you've got a delicious and nutritious snack to drink. And then, if I am going to save this for the next day, I like to put it in a mason jar, like a small one, with a plastic lid that just screws on and keeps it um, really tight. It will kind of settle where you can see the different items separating, but with this kind of um, container, you can just shake it up and that, that'll mix it all up again and then you're good to go. This is a good way to do it if you're going to take it um, like in your backpack or lunchbox and drink in between school and track practice because um, it will kind of settle and then you can just shake it up and drink it and it's still good. Um, now a couple other things to keep in mind. Um, if you do not get proper nutrition over a long period of time, that can lead to injuries in your body and specifically stress fractures. Um, we are in a sport where you're expending a lot of energy in your workouts and you're doing a lot of repetitive motion over the course of your workouts uh, and your whole season. So that combination of not taking in enough food and getting good nutrition and doing the repetitive motion could lead to stress fractures. So if you have ever had a history of stress fractures, I would highly recommend that you talk to your athletic trainers and talk to your doctor um, and ask them about meeting with a sports dietitian. They would be able to help you kind of look at your diet and make sure that you're getting enough nutrition for your body to heal and repair itself from the workouts with, without having a risk of an injury. Um, and then there's tons of great recipes out there. You can find them online. I highly encourage you to check out the Run Fast, Eat Slow um, recipes. They have a website and they post stuff on Instagram um, and they will show you all kinds of different delicious recipes that are healthy and nutritious for runners. And um, they also will show you modifications, like if you have certain dietary restrictions, um, they'll show you what you can kind of compensate for to make up for things that you might not be able to eat. Um, so please give that smoothie a try or some other kind of smoothie. Make sure that you're eating enough and eating healthy foods because that will just help you feel better overall and help you perform better in your workouts and your track meets. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions and have fun trying out some new recipes. Bye.